Given the force field, vector f, find the work required to move an object along the given oriented curve. And so here we have the force field defined by the vector yx. On a parabola, define y equals 3x squared from the origin to 448. So just want to make a little love note here that when we're asked to find the work it takes or the work required to move an object along an oriented curve, this is simply a vector line integral with a tangential component. So the work is a vector line integral over C of the force field dotted with the tangent vector ds, and then converting this to an integral with respect to t, we have the integral from a to b of that force field dotted with the tangent vector with respect to t, dt. So the first thing that we want to do here is parametrize the curve, or parametrize c. And so here we are given a parabola y is equal to 3x squared, and it's oriented from the origin to 448. So we can say this is such that x is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 4. And so we'll make a note to ourselves here that a parabola is a smooth curve. So to find the parameterization, we simply replace x with t. So then y of t is simply 3t squared. And this is from t is greater than or equal to 0, less than or equal to 4. So this is our parametric representation of the parabola from the origin to the point 448. We can even further rewrite this in a vector value function form. Vector r of t is defined as the vector t, 3t squared. And again, this is for t on the closed interval from 0 to 4. So we can now use this parameterization to find the tangent vector. So our tangent vector taking the derivative leaves us with 1, 6, t. We'll also use our parameterization to rewrite the force field. Again, we'll keep in mind that we were given the force field vector f in terms of x and y. So we have the components y, x. And we can now rewrite this using our parameterization. So the force field as a parameterized function is defined as the vector 3t squared t. So we're now going to take the dot product of our tangent vector and the force field. So we compute the dot product. Again, so we're dotting the force field or our vector field with the tangent vector, the derivative of r. So we have 3t squared t dotted with the vector 1, 6, t. We have 3t squared plus 6t squared, which gives us 9t squared. And we're finally ready to set up the integral and evaluate. So again, we're finding the work required to move an object along this parabola. So the work is 
nothing more than the tangent the vector line integral with a tangential component and plugging in what we found this integral is now from 0 to 4 of 9 t squared dt so this integrates to 3 t cubed from 0 to 4 so we have 3 multiplied by 4 cubed gives us 64 minus 0 for a beautiful final answer of 192. So again, this is the work required to move an object along the parabola from the origin to the point 448.